what is up? Wonderful world of YouTube. It's Saturday. I just got done eating lunch, training jujitsu. Time for my Get Your Guitar Lesson video. So this isn't really going to be a lesson video. I have the beautiful Mariachi guitar here. Look at all that. Look at all that wood. <laughs> I still have this for sale. If you guys are looking to comp one, um, just hit me up. We'll talk about it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we got. This ain't cheap, all right? I didn't buy this at fucking Kmart. That's all I can say. So if you're interested in getting one, uh, holler at me. We can talk. Let's see if you click the uh, the thumbnail of the video. I want to talk about differences between Wapango, Huasteco, and Jarocho. I've been listening to a lot of old stuff from back in my, you know, early, early tutelage, learning how to play Mariachi guitar. And uh, this is something that I see a lot of people struggle with because the Wapango, Huasteco, and Jarocho are all very, they sound very similar. They're, you know, they're kind of from different regions in Mexico. They're completely different genres uh, when you think about it. But I figured I would talk about what I think is the most distinctive differentiating variable between the three styles, right? What I think it really is, other than the timing, other than the songs that you that you might learn and memorize, uh, is the rosqueado. The rosqueado is a really big part of what differentiates a guapango from a son huasteco or son jarocho. And when you see people playing like La Malagueña with the rosqueado that you would use in a son jarocho, it's a little weird. So. You know, you can take whatever I say with a grain of salt. You know, it's not, I'm not the end all be all authority on how to play guitar for mariachi, but you know, if you're watching this and you like my stuff, then uh, I'm just gonna talk about it, all right? So, an important thing to note is I play with a pick, all right? I use one of these big Dorito chip looking picks. This is, uh, I think this is Clayton, is the brand name Clayton Pick. Someone was asking me on my, one of my channels what picks I use. The brand is called Clayton. And the thickness, it, it's got some thick to it. It's about 1.52. Uh, the, the thinnest I'll probably use is like a 1.26 millimeter. I've got one that's a 1.9. That thing's a monster. So that's what I use. Hold the pick. I've gone through this a little bit, you know, pointy end, you know, at the target, the strings. And you're never holding it like this, right? You're not doing some weird carpal tunnel trick thing, don't do that. You're gonna get carpal tunnel doing shit like that. I try to support, right? Because this is where the rosqueado is gonna be coming from when you're playing guitar, right? If you're not playing with a pick, right? If you're playing vihuela or if you're a vihuela player picking up guitar, it's really easy to, you know, commute, you know, because you're gonna be playing just like you would on a vihuela. If you pick up a pick and you want to get you want to get a little more volume with a little less energy, you're going to really utilize the pick. Let's see if I can get closer to how I use the pick. I'm watching you. Okay. So up close, I don't have a camera person to direct this shit, so we're just going to work with what we got. So when I'm playing the rasqueado, right, have a pick in hand, it's right. I think I've gone over the rasqueado in a previous video, but uh, yeah, I'll see if I can put a link to that down below. It's really easy. Some people like try to do some weird, funky. Oops. Don't don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. It's just it's almost like a, a sloppy strum, down strum, right? If you're like playing a ranchera and you're going. tell you not to do that, right? But when you're playing on a scale, exactly what you're going to be doing. Okay, back to the point. Wapango. What I kind of hear when I think of a wapango, you know, uh, right? The rasqueado is very drawn out. dramatic in a wapango. Right, it's powerful. 
pescado is very distinctive in a wapango. When you're playing a huasteco, a son huasteco, right? Um, it's a lot faster, it's not as drawn out. is kind of in the region of Veracruz. This is where you get like Cascabel, La Bamba, Bajo Luz, CQDC, all these all these really popular concert songs, right? The uh, the rosqueado is really different. So like if I'm playing something like It's really easy to speed it up. It's really easy to fall out of time. But the rosqueado that you're playing, like if you're playing like a wasache or something, or some random harocho. because you're having to do this rosqueado. Right. To me, those are the biggest differences. Um, playing Wapango. Or Huasteco. completely symphonic or orchestral, the huasteco and the horocho have offbeats and syncopation. You know, when you have the first part is... It's like the first part of it is... Switch. It's like a call and a response. This is something that, in like the south, you know, region in the Pacific, in the uh, the Gulf, right? You have a lot of the Caribbean influence and a lot of African influence in the music, and so there's this idea of a call and response. And that's what you get in Huasteco and in Harocho is. <laughs> crazy and get really variable and all kinds of weird stuff 
If you have the basic rhythm down, you know, and harocho, it's just really down, up, down, up. Or in the beginning. It's hell on your fingers. Uh, so I recommend using a pick. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching this little quick Saturday afternoon after lunch, after jujitsu. My fingers are killing me. Report to the wise guys. If you're an Armonia player and you practice a martial art, or like if you're a boxer, or if you do jujitsu like I do, um, take care of your hands. Use the tape. Tape your fingers. You know. People ask you what, what the deal is, just be like, you know, don't worry about it. I, got, I injured myself doing something. Take care of your fingers, guys. And especially if you're practicing, if you're like football players in high school, you know, wrap your hands. Use ice because playing and doing athletic stuff, that's just going to kill you. So, little PSA, public safety announcement. Thanks a lot for watching my channel. And I want to thank all the guys and girls who are subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's growing. I like doing mariachi videos. I just like, you know... I don't know everything, you know, you guys, you know, comment a lot and pretty much all the comments are always positive where you'll say, hey, you could also do this or hey, you could also try that. And it's like, oh shit, yeah, I, could, I forgot you could do that. All right, cool. Well, it's just knowledge sharing for people that maybe not, maybe not as fortunate to go to a high school or to a college or live in an area where there's an abundance of mariachi and, you know, people, really good players playing. And so I hope that these videos help. And if you guys help each other in the comments, I hope one day maybe I can do like a live stream or something like that, but you gotta have YouTube's a little interesting. Like I could do a live stream like right now, but probably no one will watch it and I'd just be sitting here like I am talking to a camera, to myself. But uh, you know, as the channel grows, make sure you like and subscribe or, or even dislike if you don't like it. Let me know if I'm doing something that's kind of weird and you don't like it. But uh, yeah, that's just a kind of quick, something was on my mind. I got a YouTube channel. I can talk about it and no one can stop me. So if you like it, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, you know, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.